Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with even more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And we have an episode for you. We're going to go mess around in the Gerudo Highlands for some shrines. We got one, two, three. And then we're going to go into Gerudo Canyon. Four, five, six for the next couple ones. See if we can get that far. Uh, all these shrines have been really, really fun to explore. I had a field day on the previous one where it was uh, like sand on a little motor vehicle. It was so cool. But now we must put that behind us and move on towards the next one. So let's go ahead and grab our flying vehicle and get out of town. Yeah, standing up straight. All right, let's do it. Here we go, friends. Here we go. We, ooh, look at this little clothes line over here. People throw in their shoes and socks. You guys ever see that on power lines? People throw, like, shoes tied together. Is that a thing? People do people do do power lines exist? Oh man, I'm dating myself over here. Power lines? Throw it on like a street sign, like a traffic light. People throw like their sneakers. They tie two sneakers again and throw it over. Like why would they do that? What's their problem? Why would people throw away perfectly good shoes? There's no way that someone would do that. I don't know why. I just have a memory of, like, being in the passenger side of one of my parents who were driving, and I just look out the window, just, like, tracing the power lines, just like, whoa, whoa. And then I would see, like, a pair of shoes. Like, is that a game? Those shoes cost you money, man. <laughs> what, are you made out of shoes? Anyway, long story short, don't tie your shoes together and throw them on power lines. Got it? Good, thanks. You'll thank me later unbearable cold all right well too bad all right here you go maya matt's shrine it's on the exterior don't have to worry about finding any caves so let's do it oh gosh let's do it all right it's time give me some good shrines you got a a, a tough act to follow with that last shrine that we just did in the previous episode. So let's see what we do over here. Well, the shrine's just right there. A root for a ball. A root for a ball. Okay, so the big ball has to come right over here. Um, this looks like a gliding area. Okay, it looks like the ball's gonna grind down in between those two. Uh, that is a root for a ball. Uh, that's a ball. I'm gonna send over here to get it. And then I'm just bringing it down? That seems too easy. But the treasure chest is the hard part that I really want to figure out. So let's go figure that out first. Okay, gigantic balls on ya. Alright, so what are we doing here? I'm gonna put the ball over here and ride it like a circus clown? Alright, fine. Or I could just jump in between it, like so. Cool. Definitely not gonna ride that like a circus clown. Let's get out of here. Excellent. A root for a ball, he says. Huh! What's that, though? Do I have to go up? What are the small balls? So many questions. Let's take a look. Why would I put this here? I'm, I feel compelled to do this. It's all coming to me right now. Why? Am I going upwards or am I going backwards? What's the point of this? Okay, so I see that ball coming. Uh, yep. Okay, so I can reverse polarity that and then drop it. Uh, a little weak, but I think it works. Okay, great. Now I got a big ball and a little ball. For what? Oh, this is the ball. Mm, I'm bringing both of them. I'm bringing both of Big ball, little ball. Okay, so we good here? Oh. Oh! Mm, maybe? I mean, it can work. Just based off of physics here. Watch, Snowman. It's like, um, what's the name of that little baby robot? BB-8? It's like BB-8 over here. I don't know why I'm bringing both, but I have a feeling I may need them both. I don't know. Or just one. I'm 
Did I get the treasure chest? The one and only? Yeah, I did. That was great. I did that all on the fly. Just like so perfectly and smoothly. Zero hiccups. That was cool. Wow. I don't think I've ever been any prouder at my performance on a shrine other than what we just did right now. It was so smooth. That was, that was so good. I can't believe it, man. I was just like, all right, cool. Let's figure this out. All right. Yep. We're going to do that. That, 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 that. So good. That was actually really cool. B, B, B. All right, all right. It's getting a little chilly over here. I do have my heat shield on, but that's still not enough. I'm going to put some pants on. All right, great. Okay. Let's go flying. We got some shrines to do. That was a really nice... Look at that. I can make a BB-8 from auto build if I wanted to. I'm like, what am I doing with both of these balls? I don't know. Oh, a big moose. Cool. Uh, yep. Yeah, we're not going to go squirrel syndrome over here. I don't even know moose. But it was really cool. That was a um, very easy shrine. And I liked walking through it. It was so fun. Okay, that guy's hibernating. We're going to come over here. This one apparently is a blessing. Araru's blessing. I just don't know what we need to do with it. So let's see what's up. Clink, 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 clink. Oh, um, is it just there? Why would this just be here? It doesn't look like a Rower's Blessing. If it's just out in the open like that. I'll take it. I'll take it. And it's in the snow, so my landing is just gonna stick. Watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not so much. Oh, Tootsum Shrine. Jumping on in. So first shrine was like a good five minutes. Not bad. We're going through a lot of these here. Boing. Don't be a blessing shrine, thanks. What? No, it is. For what? It's out in the open. I didn't have to do anything to... To receive this blessing. I didn't have to do anything besides find it out in the open. That doesn't make sense to me. It's not hidden in a cave. It's not past a long lava filled underground area completely in the dark where you have to earn it. This was just out in the open. They forgot to program this one. The more you play this game, the more you see through the cracks that it's not the best game everyone's calling it out to be. And they did take a lot of shortcuts. This is a prime example of that. That's not okay. For what? Fastest shrine ever. Great. Do your homework, kids. Got it? Do your homework. That was ridiculous to me. Alright, anyway. Okay, we're going. We're going. And up. Here we are. Let's go. Alright, let's see. It's like, I get that. You know, you want the game to be accessible for everyone. Sure. Maybe not everyone has the ability to make a flying vehicle with two simple fans and a steering stick. I don't know. Maybe if I had to beat this dragon and then the shrine would erupt out of it? Yes. That's great. But that requires programming. And dev dollars. So we're not going to do that. What's up, dragon? It's me. See ya. No, thank you. 
not interested. Oh my, hello? From downtown? You could have nailed me? You're not coming after me, are you? That's right. The music is still on. Oh, okay. I see a shrine. Yep, that's that's the shrine. Here we go. Look, my no hands. Look, my no hands. All right, look, my no hands. Oh, yo, we're descending. Look, my no hands. Whoa! Oh my gosh, cool! What a cool guy! What a good driver! Oh man, look, mono actual hands. We yoink! Oh, look at that ten out of ten parking job. That was the most flawless parking job ever. I didn't even have to move. Press the A button and I'm ready. So good. <laughs> you know, it's it's a game of parking, right? Every time I get to one of these shrines, like how good did Abdallah park today? Well, zero out of ten, he fell and broke his ankles. Ten out of ten, he landed exactly where he needed to be at that moment of time. Here we go. I don't have a reverse in that vehicle, so I can't back up into it. A balanced plan. Okay, what's the plan? Okay. Yep. A balanced plan. Okay. You think that I'm going to be doing, the, doing it this way, where I'm going to balance, right? Do I weigh more than a barrel? Well, let's see. A balance, part of a balanced diet. Well, if I do this, if I stick it to that, right? That's great. It's a metal barrel, it's not any barrel. Great. Okay, treasure's up ahead. Okay, balance plan. Let's take a look. Three cubes. Versus Link. Three cubes versus Link. Huh, fascinating. So I can't take that off? Why? Okay, fair. Check this out. Three cubes versus Link and one cube. We're still not heavy enough. Okay. I got an idea. Not sure if that's the way I was supposed to get that, but I'm taking the treasure and I'm dipping out of here. But lip lipping. Okay, so that's a lot of things that are pretty heavy towards Link over here. Um, let me see. How am I gonna move these? I gotta somehow. Oh, yikes! That was a big hit. These don't look movable. They are like immovable. I cannot move them. Anything. So, maybe I need that barrel. B barrel. May I have it, please? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, that's kind of silly. Fine. You can play like that? Sure. I'll play like that. Let's go. Thanks. I have to somehow outweigh this. Where did those blocks go? Oh, they fell? Excuse me. It's a metal. It's a metal barrel. Your barrel! Alright, here we go. The barrel apparel. Oh, I get it. It's gonna be a lever. Oh, that's right. It's not just outweighing it, but it's a lever based mechanism. Watch. That's the aha moment over here. It's like, it's just physics over here. Watch, I don't even need the barrel. But if I put this over here. Yeah, barrel didn't matter. Cool though, 
Cool shrine. Yeah, that's why they gave you that board. Gave you the board to make it, like, even longer of a lever that just kind of... I don't know what what's that call in physics, but... It's like a crowbar, right? Like, if you have a crowbar and you're trying to pry something, like, the longer the crowbar it is, like, the easier it is to pry. Get into your car. <laughs> pry open a door. I don't know. It was cool. That was a cool, that was a cool shrine. Yeah, I like that one. Getting the treasure chest was a little weird. Just, like, extending things over. All right, so this is, uh, is this Yiga Land? This is Yiga Land. So let me turn around from Yiga Land. Oh, can I go in here? Well, they decorate this place, huh? Hideout Chasm? I'm not interested. Yeah, I need to go this way. I think I may have to go inside the Yiga Clan hideout to find a shrine. I didn't honestly do that before. I looked around to get the Earthquake ability, but that's it. Look at these like, little houses. I'm gonna go change into my outfit, man. Before I get spotted over here. I need my Yiga Clan stuff. Yiga Clan reporting for duty. Little chilly, but I'll be okay. Don't worry about me, I got plenty of hearts. This is correct, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cold. It's very cold. Half a heart cold. Is this not the way to the Yiga Clan hideout? I don't remember. Let's see. It was like in a crater. I actually don't know. I starred this area like I thought I knew where it was, but I don't. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so, like, I'm getting a little cold right now. So, we're gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna wear some pants. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's over here. It's gotta be, like, some sort of weird crater. <sighs> Let's see. Let's turn around. Let's look around here. Yeah, yeah. So, this is, like, the entrance over here. And let's see it. Uh... Alright, yeah, yeah. It was it was inside this like mountainous area from when I last remember. And then it was like underneath like the rocks. Don't remember all that well. Can I zoom in to find out? Uh, it's the hideout chasm. Oh, you think it's like this way? Oh, Yiga Clan hideout. Pff, duh. Okay, let's go over here. That's it. It's just Yiga Clan Hideout. It was... I went inside there, so I have it as a landmark, so I'm fine. What is that, though? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, towards, like, the rocky area. Yeah, yeah, exactly like this. This is where I saw it last time. So, perfect. I'm like, I could have sworn I had some sort of landmark on it. And then, yeah, there was, like, these little spots, and I probably can go under it. No, I cannot. So we're going to go nearby down below. I'm going to drop down over here. We're going to do a quick 360. We're going to be golden. So let's do this. Yeah, we just have to tuck ourselves under and go the opposite way. Is this it? What is... I'm sorry. What is this? What in the world is this? It, it's you. Attention all members, we're under attack. It's Link. Oh, come on! I'm wearing the pants! And they saw through me. Really? You noticed me because of my pants. <sighs> Great. Mm. Yeah, I'll just be jumping Master Sword. I gotcha. I don't have time for this. Nice earthquake. Master Sword is about to dip out? Cool, dude. Later, Master Sword. I think I need you. Later, dude. Because of the pants. 
Wow, because of the pants. All right, now here we go. It's me again. Hi. Knock, knock. <laughs> okay. What is this? Wh where am I? Hello? Yeah, I got the lightning helm. Uh, this is his, like, secret room? I don't actually know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Little, little area. Where is the shrine, though? According to this, the shrine is... Uh, oh, yeah, not here. Not green. Okay, we're going here. Yiga Clan Hideout Chasm. But do I... Where? Why am I going here? Why am I... Why am I in the Yiga Clan all of a sudden? I thought I had to, like, find it, like, over here. <laughs> don't even know, man. Am I just chilling in here for some no reason? Probably. You know, forget about it. I don't even know why we spent the last five minutes doing that. <clears throat> no idea. Yeah, yeah, we got the one that was kind of nearby. I thought we had to, like, go somehow into the canyon and, like, underneath the ground to go find the other one, but we're fine. Let's get, get me out of here. Get me out of here. The Yiga clan. That was so funny. He looked through the peephole, and then he saw that I was Yiga, but, like, that's not the pants, and therefore I am Link, right? Therefore I am 100% Link. What? Whatever. Okay, there's one by the stable over here. This one should be very, very easy to find, like this right here. Fly! Uh... Alright, too long. Alright, Turakamak. Turakamik. Turakamik Shrine. Run. Oh, every time. If I had a nickel every time, I didn't run straight in. Let's do this, friends. Alright, Yiga Blade Master reporting for duty. Hidden metal? Okay, analyzing, analyzing. This thing rotates somehow. Needs some sort of electric charge. Here's a little conduit. This needs to somehow be electrified over to the next one to get this thing moving. Pretty easy to connect these two balls together. Right? Great. But... That didn't give me enough. So I want this to be attached to this permanently. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. Fair. Uh, nearby, up above. Great. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what we got here. How? Okay, we're doing this fine. Okay. Back. <sighs> Those are movable, right? That's not movable. Okay. Uh, it can't be this easy as just connecting these two, is it? Oh, okay. No, no, no. I've done this before. I've done this concept in the in the Wind Temple before. So we do this, and then we leave it there. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Wrong. Since I swung this one, I'm going to grab this one. As, as it's swinging, I should be able to attach it real quick. Just like that. Boom. But it broke. So I don't like the fact that it broke, but I can squeeze it through over here before it does it, before it moves. I think I can cheese through it. What? No! No, 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 no. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Fine. Fair. Fair. You know what? Fair is fair. Let's do it. All right, let's try that again. Give me this. Ball and... Great. I didn't even have to do it all fast. It's fine. Where's the treasure chest, please? Okay, that was a nice little puzzle. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. 
Hi, it's me. Where? Uh, okay, the, the puzzle. Oh, sorry, the treasure chest is up above. If I reverse polarity on this, I can get the treasure chest right on top of this platform here. Or so I think. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Excellent. Next. Doodle doodle ding. Thank you. Okay, no more treasures. We're all set. Now, how do we open the door? Looking at this, I need to do a little bit of draping. I gotta drape it all the way over there. I don't have anything else to bring over. Why is this a thing? Here, I'm just taking this off. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking this bad boy. I'm going over here. This should be conducting electricity. Yeah, perfect. Done. So easy. Okay, I like that one. I like it because it's electricity based and I find those uh, puzzles really interesting. I find them really interesting when it comes down to how are you going to connect the electricity together. So cool. Can we squeeze out one more? I'm looking at this time right now. It's possible. We can at least find the next one and then go from there. I wish there was a, uh, a service where it's like, hey, you collected four. Would you like to turn them in? I guess fast, like an option. It's like, would you like to turn in four for a heart container or a vessel? Cool. Very straightforward, for sure. Agreed. All right, next up. Mm, there's going to be some right inside this canyon. Let's go find red. Ah, oh, Yiga, Yiga. Yeah, let's actually get set up for red at least, and if we could jump inside it, let's do it. If not, then we'll just be set up for next episode. Vroom. Yahoo, nice and beautiful. Look at this canyon. Look at how beautiful the red rocks are. So good. This game is amazing. It's just the environments are so vast. All the textures. Just really get a, an appreciation for it. Especially these guys. Watch. Just hit one. Just like run into them. Mm, they're lucky. <laughs> Alright. I hope this one's just going to be a, a, a shrine that's available on the outside. If it's not... It may be a cave, based on what I'm looking at over here. Or it may be on top of a mountain, I don't know. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm feeling cave for red. I'm feeling cave. I'm feeling cave for red over here, unfortunately. But... Should be fine. I, I wouldn't even know where to start looking for that cave. Just making sure. Yeah, it is uh, It is absolutely right here. So, whatever. Not a problem. We'll go figure out where that cave is a little bit later. But let's uh, let's go try to line ourselves up for purple and go from there. Dun, 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 dun. Purple is not too far away. Yeah, it's not too far. There's the curve of the canyon. There's some sort of... I don't know. <gasps> My bike! Okay, good. Yeah, I dropped a little too much there. Let's try again. <laughs> All right, just wanted to see who's uh, who's out here making this campfire. Gotta go check up on him, man. Forest fires in a desert. Okay, what's down here? It's a. Oof! It's a fetch shrine. I got it. I got a minute or two. Let's go. Rocka something. Okay. Where? I lost my bike. So, that's very far without a bike. So, I'm going to make a new one. Yeah. And I may need to just make the hovercraft. Right? Like the four-fanned uh, vehicle. I may need that if I'm just going to come back over here. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Oh man, tell me 
talking about that. I'm talking about that awesome liftoff. What just happened? Alright, what's over here? Don't tell me it's underground in a cave or something silly. Come on, man. I don't... I don't know about this. Unbearable heat now, huh? Okay, let's go cooling shield. There we go. I need to reach my friend. No, you don't. Not yet. I need to reach my gem. Don't tell me there's a quest behind it. Don't tell me anything like that. Oh, man. Don't tell me something here. Oh, it's just hidden? Okay, cool. It's uh, in like a bunch of coconuts. Great. That's easy. Excellent. Let's do another couple fans, shall we? Alright, here we go. Cannon. I don't really need the cannon on top. Or the head. I don't know when I built that last, to be honest. I built it a long time ago. Oh! Oh! It's favorited. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. How much? Six, and I only have four? Oh, I need a new one. Zonite, dude? Really? I need two Zonite for that? Where are we? I gotta go, man. Okay. I need this to not have a cannon on it. I wish you could customize what's on it and what's not. I built this as like a flying cannon vehicle back in the day. So maybe I'll just get rid of the flying cannon vehicle. And, um... Okay, so maybe if I auto-build that. Does that count as me auto-building it? No, it does not. Let me see. Schematics. History. If I do this... Hold on one second, please. No! Um... Dude, get, where does ball come from? What is this? Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. I, I think that's it. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what I'm looking for over here. Hood ornament. Okay, Autoville, I'm going to favorite this one. I think. I think this is the schematic that I built. Right, let's see what we got. Okay, okay. <laughs> Stand by. Rotate, rotate. Here we go. Here we go, Tate. Much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. Get a little bit of height. It's hard. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, dragon's nearby. It's probably, uh, Feroche. Okay, I'm somehow steering towards the other side. There we go, going a little sideways here. Not a problem. Can still manage. Thread the needle, here we are, and the end. Good salvage. Yeah, okay, okay. Not bad. It's one way of doing it, or you can just kind of walk your way over there with the thing. Doesn't matter. You got a four fan vehicle over here. This one's a Raru's blessing, it has to be. Because that is a that is a quest in and of itself. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, and that's going to be the episode once we pick this guy up. So, a little bit of extended episode. I'm cool with that. We were right, right at a shrine. I wasted a little bit of time taking a look at the Yiga clan, so... Attack up plus nine, not bad. Like to see it. Plus ten's better, though. All right, give me that right now. I had to just really bring it from one part of the canyon to the other. It's not that big of a deal, but I'll take it. Done. 
Okay, cool. Well, I got to do some research as to where the cave is located inside the Gerudo Desert over there. Uh, because we did pass by one of our little points. So there's one more shrine that we got to knock out. So here's hoping we can knock that out. I'll do the research and we'll get even more shrines done to hopefully complete everything on the ground level. Then we just got to go up to the skies and finish it off. All right, friends, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.